Hola, heavyos ciudadanos. Have you ever been so excited about a show that it inspires you to write music that reminds you of the characters, the story, and the world it created? And while wanting to create such a track, did it happen that you had this brand new synth bass you wanted to try and lo and behold, it's the perfect tool for the task? If so, and also if not, you're in luck, since today I'll be sharing with you how I used our newest free release, Foundation's Synth Bass, to write a track inspired by this last season of Stranger Things, which blew my mind in terms of story, characters, world building and emotion, and sheer awesomeness. So without much further ado, here's the track, Hiding in the Light. Let's do it! Alright, the first thing you might think of when you think about Stranger Things, I know it's the first thing I think when I hit play to the Netflix thingy, it's the arpeggio. That is what I tried to do using Oberhorn 16 preset. You'll notice that in Foundation Synth Bass, we added MIDI CC1 to control the filter cutoff of the entire instrument. This allows me to open up this arpeggio as we ramped up to the beginning of the motif. The other thing that I did with this arpeggio, in the next section, I broke it out into two different presets. Up the bass on one, and then on the other one, and I'm just using the growl. Just a sub, and just a top. It makes it for a bigger, taller kind of sound. As you can see, I'm also controlling the filter cutoff on just the top one. The bottom one, it's the bottom sub. You don't need filter for that. The next building block is a creepy synth-like mnemonic. I created a pretty much simple raw synth snapshot using Foundation Synth Bath. I'm gonna play it for you. Then by adding overdrive, gnarlier, then ring shift, which is so much fun to use. Warbly kind of effect, a little unpredictable sometimes, but Hey, isn't that part of the magic? Delay. And then add some reverb at some of the different moments of this piece and then you get something very cool. Your own synth. But then like just the way I played it, two adjacent notes, in this case, B and C. This motif will appear in different other forms. The rest of this section is basically piano staying at the top, and some string swells using the texture layer of Foundation Staccato Strings. I want to add an extra thump on the bottom. For that extra thump, I used the clean sub bass sound. And as we're about to land onto the next section, my favorite synth, big bottom synth. Big bottom synth, you make the rocking world go round. What's really cool to do with this kind of synth sound is to use the cutoff frequency as a way of adding life and bringing an organic element to these. Then the first big moment occurs. So we have our melody, which is this guy. which is being doubled by our second synth of the night. Second synth of the night. Let's go back to the original sound. We add clip distortion. We add some chorus. And we always add delay. These two melodies play together like this. 
so there's a little uneasiness as you introduce chorusing and you introduce like these facing elements everything begins to feel slightly unstable which i think it's pretty cool for the eerie ambience that we're going for so now we have the arpeggio broken into two parts as the way we talked before we have the minor second motif but now played in lead synth number two sounds gnarlier because it's way more distorted then we're using big bottom synth and our third synth of the night ensemble some reverb and together they're playing this counter melody which is using the filter cutoff to open and close and i am also automating the reverb You'll hear the filter cutoff closing as the reverb expands with extra reverb. It feels like the synth is just going away into mystery, into somewhere else. And the best way to enhance this arpeggio is using staccato strings. For more info on how to do cool stinatos, check out our other foundation staccato string video, which talks a little bit of how I approach this using velocities and spreading out the voices. All of this together. I really like that moment in which the counter melody comes in all of a sudden and it lands with the motif. I think that's pretty nice. Then, right before we get into our main, 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 main motif, we want to build the tension a little, so I went to the E chord, the dominant chord, and just like ramped up the excitement, I ramped up the dynamics, and I made everything just like very, very tense. Opening all the filter for a crescendo. Our pages that build and open up. a very intense string build. And something that I use the clean sub for is to add an extra thump on the bass strings. With the sub. Now that's some big bottom synth. And then for a last big moment, everybody comes together. You have all the synths playing together in different octaves. You have a piano arpeggio playing alongside the strings and alongside the synth arpeggios and the big bottom synth just like carrying the bass. The arpeggios are doing this. Following the chords, big bottom bass. You got lead synth one. Number two. Number three. And then this whole big moment converges into like a suddenly softer moment that's still driving the rhythm, but like fades away. That way you're easing into whatever next adventure is to come. When you're going from small to big, you don't want the reverb to splash onto your next section. But when you're going from big to small, sometimes you can let that wash over away. Notice how it sounds. We have a variation of the first lead motif again. Notice I'm also playing with the panning to have the movement go from one side to the other, just like ghosts do, or in this case, the Demogorgon. So there you have it. It was super fun to create this track inspired in this last season of the show. It's super cool to be able to like grab something you like and create something inspired out of that. So if you like what you saw, if you like what you heard, Hit the like, subscribe, all of those buttons, share with your friends, family, download Foundation Synth Base, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.